Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Voice of Hope with Pastor Isaac Appel. Today, God has a question for you and I. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, the Bible says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. The question that God has for us today is, We know Christ died on the cross. But the question is, who killed Jesus Christ? This is a very important question. We are very much aware of the kind of life that Jesus Christ lived. The Bible says he lived the best of life on earth. He committed no sin. No lie was found on his lips. So who could have killed such a person? A person who has never sinned before. Was it the Roman soldiers? Was it the Pharisees? Who killed Jesus Christ? My dear friend, we must understand that Christ, even though he was physically nailed to the cross by a group of Roman soldiers, Jesus Christ wasn't killed by the Roman soldiers only. Christ was killed by you and I. We crucified Jesus Christ. We sent him to the cross. In fact, we caused him to sweat like blood in the garden of Gethsemane. Christ died such painful, gruesome death through our hands. When the movie entitled The Passion of Christ was made, the director Mel Gibson at one point was interviewed and during that interview Mel Gibson made a shocking revelation. He said that during the movie at the last part when Christ was about to be crucified, the first nail that was hit in his hand, the hand that put the nail there, the face did not come. It was only the hand you could see. You could see a Roman soldier's hand holding the nail in the palm of Jesus. Mel Gibson said, that hand was his hand. Even though he was not part of the movie, he directed it. He said that hand was his hand. They asked him why. He said he wanted the whole world to know that his sins were part of the reasons why Christ was crucified. In fact, Mel Gibson said, I killed Jesus with my son. My dear friend, we all killed Jesus Christ with our sins. We may not have been there physically on the day he was crucified, but it is our sin that sent him there. The question is, what are you doing about the power of his death? Are you still living in that particular sin that sent Jesus Christ to the cross? Are you still involved in worldliness? Are you still involved in all those evil practices that sent Jesus Christ to the cross? Today, he says, I died for you. He says, when I am lifted up, I will draw all men to my side. Have you been drawn to Jesus Christ? And most importantly, are you living for him today? If not, he says, come, come just as you are, and I will give you rest. May you find rest indeed. And may you find forgiveness even as you accept the divine invitation of God through Jesus Christ. Father, we are sorry because we have sinned against you. Even when you saved us through the death of your son Jesus, we keep sinning and we keep disgracing your name. Because of our lives, sinners ridicule your name. Please forgive us. And today we come as you called us. Wash us. Oh Lord, with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and make us clean so that we will live for you. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.